Hello everybody and welcome to Crusader Kings. Uh, so this time around, um, I'm doing something a little bit different. So this series is going to be a little bit um, uh, different from what we've been doing before. This is a game that I really enjoy, um, but it's one of those games that is really, really sort of uh, complicated if you don't know how to uh, get into it. Um, so we're going to be playing. It's going to be a new series. I don't know how long it's going to last. Hopefully, we'll, we'll, I'll set myself small goals, um, and we'll see how it does. Um, the series is The Conquest of El Cid. So we will be playing as El Cid, which is a historical character. It's not in the game, but I went ahead and um, tweaked it and, and made him. And um, there are movies and legends and whatnot based around it. So basically, we are um, next, next, finish. Right, so... Um, El Cid is uh, otherwise known as Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, is a, a loyal uh, subject of King Sancho of Castile. And this is what we've decided. We're playing at uh, 1066 is the year. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this right now. So one of the things about Crusader Kings, if you're expecting, if, if this is a very complicated strategy game. Okay. Close. I don't need all that. So, first, let me clarify: if you're not into something that you know has sort of a slow pace to it, then you might not enjoy this game. But on the other hand, if you're really into some really complicated um, strategy, then uh, this is the game for you. All right. So the first thing I did when you um, start the game essentially you get dropped into this map and it's all quite confusing and it's all enormous but you know you shouldn't really worry about that and so you should just focus where you're starting from so I'm starting from this province which is called Asturias de Santilla and um, the next thing that I usually do uh, to make this easier for me to sort of like visualize is I click on the realms icon and this tells me what part of what kingdom I'm part of so uh, I am part of Castile and I am one of the um, uh, vassals of King Sancho of Castile now Sancho his his heir is King Alfonso of Leon now this was historically it happened in Spain the northern um, Christian kingdom was split amongst the um, the children, and um, to the southern part, we have the Moorish occupation. Now, um, ideally, what we want to do is we want to achieve the lifetime actual achievement of El Cid, which was taking, I believe, the city of um, Valencia. Which, uh, it's right here. It's, so we're, we're in the right place. This, it's Valencia is, is there. Um, it's just that it's, it's under a different name. So we want to at least take this part and become uh, uh, the uh, owners of Valencia, I, I, I guess. So what do we do? Well, first of all, you have to understand that this takes a really long time to play this game. And uh, right now the game is paused. Uh, and this allows you to go uh, faster and slower, and you will make use of that. But the first thing that I want to do is, and it's letting you know here, ruler unmarried, no heir to your dynasty. So it's important to remember that while this is a strategy game based on conquest and all that other stuff, um, the most sort of like uh, important thing that you have to keep in mind is that um, you have to take care of your dynasty because this game is not played through one character We're gonna try and push it with Rodrigo and, and actually take that But it keeps on going and you have several children and it, you do a lot of like terrible things to your heirs in order to uh, ensure um, uh, uh, a, a good um, uh, A good match so to speak Hello and welcome back. Um, sorry for the for the shift, but what actually happened is 
I realized that it wasn't going to work. It was going to be too complicated to actually start from this area as, as a direct vassal. I, it was just going to be too tough. And second of all, I forgot that I actually wanted to give myself some starting gold, a bit of starting gold, so that I didn't actually have to worry about the economics of the game and that I could actually show you um, um, a little bit of the conquest and, and, and some of the other less nuanced aspects of the game. Um, so having said that, I am now a subject of, um, of Anso of Navarra. And what I'll try to do is, I still have a relationship uh, with King Sancho II, and I'm his friend. And um, I'm going to try and take over Navarra and become King of Navarra, and then uh, just go ahead and, and, and conquer this, it, as long as um, Sancho doesn't beat me to it. But I think that's probably a better situation for us than um, what we were in before. Right, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, move into uh, appointing uh, these guys uh, uh, to work for me. And they're obviously not happy, and I'll tell you the reason they're, they're not happy. They're not happy because they are, um, they are Basques, I believe. Yes, they're Basques, and actually that, that guy wants a republic. And I am not Basque, I am Castilian, which is um, an issue altogether uh, somewhat complicated. But um, we want to go ahead and we want to look at our court. And a lot of these... Uh, so she's married. Okay. Can we look at Intrigue and we can actually get... Present a debutante. Lose one gold. We can do that. Uraka. Let's let's look at let's see at Uraka. 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 Where is she? Uh, oh, is she not here? Come on, she's got to be here. Oh, I, I'm I'm Anso Asnar Anderkina Jimena. Plasencia, Ramiro, Zimeno, Jimeno. Are you are you kidding me? What? I I was pretty sure, and they're usually at the bottom. Let's see. Well, she's not married. Uh, she's a genius. She's got great. Mar oh, you know what? We're marrying her. She's got a a a, a, a lot of. Uh, a lot of good traits. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, people respect wealth. So we'll get a little bit of prestige there. And immediately... Um, this guy... Bernard is actually probably better. And we will now fabricate claims on Navarra. And hopefully that'll work. Now, next thing that we have to do is we have to... Uh, we're going to go into the council. We're going to tell the marshal to start uh, building up some troops. And that's going to be good. Uh, what else do we need? Mm, it looks like it's like we're fine. So we're going to just accelerate the game a bit more. Message about to point of commander has been received. To the magnificent Count Rodrigo, your wisdom mercy, we've decided to offer you the position of commander. Do you accept? Um, sure, why not? I'll accept the position of commander. So I am now the commander of the armies of Navarra. And at the same time, I'm also plotting... Hello? Is that working? Yeah, okay, I think we're fine. Um, at the same time, I'm also plotting to take the kingdom of Navarra from Anzo. Uh, and, and hopefully that'll work out. 
this should be a, a province one week approved the institution of limited crown authority which is fine um, Castile se seems to be in some sort of war let's see what's going on uh, to the great Count Rodrigo live in harmony and contentment we would like to appoint you to marshal what do you say um, sure I'll accept being your marshal what about you? Wisdom are legendary. We request you honor your obligation to answer this call to arms against um, Amir Amahad who did emirate, declining would cost us 25 prestige. Uh, no, of course not. We accept. And um, we will guess, raise our levies, which are nine, 900. And um, I guess we move, I, I mean, we're his friend. That's why we're responding to that cause. So let's see if we can, we don't actually, you know what? We don't want to do that. We don't want to, we just, we want to help him the least possible because we actually want to take over, um, this bit of land and um we we have to make sure that they don't uh succeed so we'll see we'll, we'll just stay put i've accepted to go to war but um i'm not entirely sure it's it's gonna it's gonna happen all right now build the spy network scheme you can go and scheme there um what is this church tech and this is improve religious relations here you can improve some religious relations there um to the great count rodrigo your wisdom are, uh, we propose that king anso of navarra and jimena nunez marry i'm sorry i'm uh, i'm gonna have to decline on that one sorry i think it's better if you stay single okay so he's going in there, um, and it looks like they might potentially win that war. Uh, yeah, very well. Let them in. Fat March, uh, merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems... Okay. I accept your gift. Whatever crazy thing happens... Um, okay, well, looks like Anso has now taken a wife, which is, uh, she seems to be Welsh. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, he's going to lose his land very quickly, and we're going to take over, and that's going to be, it's going to be great. Oh, uh, just, just you wait. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. So now, okay, Castilian Holy War. Sancho has actually won, which is great. Well, not so great. Um, the Reconquest, the Reconquista uh, begins, and I should have actually declared the war because then I would have had that bit of land for myself. But um, it's okay. I can still push against uh, some of these uh, realms and, and do it myself. But first and foremost, I, I have to get a good claim on that city. Or on that land, I guess. Picked character focus. Okay, what do we want our focus to be? Um, intrigue? Rulership? Stewardship, scholarship, theology, family, carousing, uh, war, and da -da 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 -da. what? Which one is the one? All right. Count Rodrigo seeks to become a better schemer, spending most of his time in person in court intrigue. Okay. 
Let's choose, let's choose rulership just to see what happens. And uh, if there's anything that's interesting that actually occurs. Right now, we're just waiting. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Mencia, is actually pregnant. Oh, holy cow. Why does he have so many kids? And why? Okay. Ugh. Boy, he's got a bunch of siblings. Um, never been a shortage of soldiers. Reinforcing troops under our guidance, we believe fame and fortune awaits them. Perfect. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some pretty fortunate attacking uh, as soon as that happens. Uh, Sancho of Castile. Um, it seems like Eric, uh, like Navarra has fielded a large army. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's, oh, it looks like it's, um, that looks like Sancho is actually attacking the Moors very quickly. So you can see, okay, he is now my new steward. Uh, yeah. Why not? How's my council? Uh, it's looking better, I guess. We're slowly getting into the positive. You have a new heir. You will play as Mencia Rodriguez. Okay, but I'm not going to have that name. Her name is going to be Jimena. There we go. Um, she's a daughter, so as soon as I have a, a boy, obviously, she will be... Um, pushed out of the hereditary loop. Now, what else do we have here? Right. And here is where I sit. And Anso is definitely not happy. Now, is this working? Uh, claim fabricated. Only 3% yearly. This might actually take a while. Noble infuriated yearly hmm right all right um so we're just waiting that's pretty much what we're doing right now is we're just waiting and waiting more and more 19 percent chance that the claim will actually be fabricated uh come on Okay, we're back. Um, we we got it. It just took a couple of more months um, of waiting. My liege, my work in Navarra seems to have come to fruition. Bribing, cajoling, exhorting, threatening, forging documents, I have managed to fabricate the claim of the county presently held by King Anso of Navarra. We're going to use it. You bet your ass we're going to use it. And not only are we actually going to use it, we are going to go ahead and we're going to declare war. We're going we're gonna to claim... Navarra and first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna send a word to our friend Sancho we're gonna send a word to our friend uh, the Count uh, of Eneko and no.